<laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> speaking of funny noses, yeah. Murray Fields and Shane Bond! Yeah. 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 And look, uh, that background... The background keeps changing every week. Yes. Um, but before we get on to the jokes, Murray, a lot of people are con- concerned because you had a bit of a problem there, health-wise, and we were all thinking... <gasps> Um, but you're okay now. You've, you're a bit better. Yes, uh, coming good, mate. Coming good. It was a heart thing, was it? Like that's right. Yeah, it uh, happened around right about there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so now you have to just pull back on the. Uh, Take it easy and uh, plenty of exercise and that. And yes, yeah. that's it. You're exercising then. You're... Actually, he, he gave me. Uh, few things to do. I've got to walk a bit, you know. I didn't. I didn't. I catch you jogging around Albert Park Lake, mate. Well, not jogging, walking it was, Shane, oh, yeah, you see. Yeah. I, I walk through the golf course there. It's a great place to walk. Lovely, and yeah. Find a few things, like I found a couple of golf balls the other day yeah. and uh, picked them up, and they weren't friction ones, but picked them up, and <laughs> I didn't have my Adidas on, you see. It had no pockets in this other one, so uh-huh. I, I whacked them down there. <laughs> now, true, yeah. whacked them down there, and I'm walking along, and this bird's walking past me, and she looked down, and she said, what's that? I said, oh, golf balls. She said, I know how you feel. I used to have tennis elbow. Maury, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, Ladies it. and gentlemen, it's great. It's great now to have the great Aussie joke with Murray Fields and Shane Ball. Hey! 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 <laughs> This is hey, very Murray, important. How's the health? They t- I know you were, had a bad spell there for a while. You were all, I, I said spell, not smell. Uh, smells, yes. Well, well, they've got me on this wonderful diet, you have see. Uh, uh, no cholesterol, uh, no yes. dairy foods, no, uh, no beer, no cigarettes. You're joking. You know beer? What yeah. about the top end uh, bloody good beer drinkers? Club? Well, I retired undefeated on that. Oh, <laughs> good. But, but he gave me an optional diet. He, yes. said, he said it's called the Nao diet. The Nao diet. Not Mayo, Nao. Nao. Right. It's nicotine, alcohol and open art surgery. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> wonderful. Right. Hey, well, hey. Let's get yeah. it on, boys. What have you got today? We've got one here from Merrick Barkell in Adelaide about the guy that walks into the hamburger shop and he said, I want a very, very special hamburger. And the guy said, no problems in the world. I've been making hamburgers for 30 years. What would you like? And he said, well, it's a bit strange. What I want you to do, I, I want you to get the stalest bun that you can find. Right? I want you to cut it open. <laughs> <laughs> Just the two digits from Wilbur. <laughs> Cut it open, <laughs> put it under the griller, burn it completely black, right? Then I want you to get a bit of meat. Now, I want it to be off and just going green. Don't cook it. Whack it in between the buns, right? A bit of cheese, mouldy, with a bit of fur growing on it. A little bit of blue fur there. Get some lettuce or find a bit of lettuce off the floor, maybe. A bit of onion, a bit of grease, a bit of fur, whatever. Put that in. Get maybe, ooh, half a cup? No, to hell with it. What about a full cup of sauce? Pour it all over so that when you bite it, it goes all over your new suit, you know. <laughs> and the guy said, well, that, I couldn't possibly make a hamburger like that. And the guy said, well, you did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, we could see that one coming, but it's a good joke. Oh, yes. Maury? Yeah, I've got a little one here from... Uh, Maury, how's the health? Um, you, I, I, Fantastic. How you been yourself? Oh, not too. I'm a bit off, actually. Yeah, been been a bit of a sore groin from a, uh, oh, from really? a slope. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. From a slope? Don't touch it, Walker! I was up at the balls, uh, <laughs> you know, sort of slowing down, you know, and, I, and one leg went that way, the other one leg went that way, and we're still looking for the other one. And all that, that, that was and just in the bar. Right down. No, I almost had to make a wish, and uh, I've got severe, uh, severe uh, cramp down the inside there. Oh, yes, really? I can see. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Murray. You're yeah, yes, I've got one from Lee Jones in uh, Terralgan here. It's a little kid sitting in the gutter playing with this bottle, you see, and the local priest walked past, and he said... Uh, what are you doing there, Sonny? He said, I'm playing with this bottle. He said, what's in the bottle? He said, sulfuric acid. <laughs> the priest said, my God. He said, he said you realise that's very dangerous. He said, look, he said, I'll swap you for this bottle of holy water. And the kid said, no way. The father said, look, he said, it's great. He said, I rubbed some on a lady's tummy the other day and she passed a beautiful little baby. The kid said, that's nothing. I rubbed some on me dog's behind and he passed a Mercedes. <laughs> 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 you team. Wow. Dennis Barry <laughs> Dennis Barry from Queensland has sent the, oh, actually in Mitchelton probably just up the road from Jackie sent this in about the gorilla who's in the jungle and he's a bit bored 
He's sick of, you know, having to be timber, cheater and, you know, hyenas laughing at him, all that sort of thing. So he thought, I might do something wild. I might do something left to centre here. So he comes across this lion having a drink of water at the local water hole. <laughs> and he thinks, well, I won't I? Yeah, I'll do it. So he sneaks up behind this lion, king of the jungle, right? Pulls his tail, kicks him in the bum, <laughs> pushes him in the water. You've cleaned this up. <laughs> <laughs> and takes off the lion. The lion is furious, humiliated. And he spots the gorilla. He thought, I'll get you, gorilla. And they're off, da -da -dum, da -dum, chasing through the jungle, crashing through the villages, all that sort of thing. The gorilla's laughing. Ha, ha, ha. He's, he's running, ha, in gorilla language. Ha, ha, ha. And the lion's after him. I'll get you, gorilla. All of a sudden, the lion started to catch up. The gorilla got a bit worried. What'll I do? So he ducked into a news agent. <laughs> and he grabbed the paper. Didn't bother to pay. Got the big one, the Australian. And he's sitting out on a park bench there, hiding behind the newspaper <laughs> as the lion comes past. The lion screeches to a halt. And he says to the newspaper, he doesn't know who's behind it, he said, did you see a gorilla come past here? And the gorilla was hiding. He said, what, the one that pulled your tail, kicked you in the bum and pushed you in the water hole? He said, God, it's not in the papers already, is it? Simple, funny, obtuse sort of joke. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> This is from uh, Kay Cartwright in Bidwell, New South Wales. This is Outback Station, you see, a thousand miles from anywhere. And uh, the boss of these stations there and the flying doctors is there and you see the wife is expecting uh, a little baby. So they're waiting there. Finally, she started to uh, happen. The doctor said, quick, he said, have you turned the lights on? You got light? He said, no, he said, the generator's gone, it's finished. He said, well, we'll get kerosene for the lamps. You know, he said, I haven't got any kerosene. He said, well, look, we need a light. He said, what do you got? He said, well, I've got my bike outside. It's got a dynamo on the front wheel if you pedal it. And he said, well, get out and chock the back wheel up and pedal like Ellen, shine it through the window. I said, right, he's out, he's pedalling away. The doc said, quick, keep pedalling. He said, beauty. He said, it's coming. Oh, he said, you're the proud father of a little bouncing baby. Bloke said, what is it? He said, I don't know, it hasn't called Stop Bouncing yet. But, <laughs> but he said, keep pedalling, keep pedalling, I can see another one. Out came another, he said, you're father of twins. He said, keep pedalling. Out came another, he said, you got triplets, keep pedalling. The bloke jumped straight off the bike. He said, what are you doing? He said, no way. He said, I think the bloody light's attracting them. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. We got. He's a, a real quickie. He's a real quickie from Betty Anderson in Redcliffe, and it's about the ants and the elephants playing football. And they're at a big game, and uh, all of a sudden, about ten minutes after after the off, an elephant has stepped on an ant and killed the ant. The referee, he's run over. He said, "Look, I told you. I said no rough stuff." And the elephant was no, very apologetic. He said, "I'm very sorry. I only meant to trip him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that. It's a bit similar, a bit similar to the big game between the ants and the insects, yeah. right? And like about What's that one? Is half that a good time, sent in by anybody? Was yes, I'll tell yeah. you in a minute all that sent in by. Right. About, half, about half time, right, the ants are slaughtering the insects, right? They're up about 15 goals. Half time, on comes the centipede for the insects, right? And he kicks 15 goals in five minutes. The insects win. They're having a drink afterwards and talking. <laughs> and the ant said to the insects, why didn't you, uh, why didn't you bring the, uh, the centipede on at the beginning of the game? And they said, well, it takes him that long to get his boots on. I've got a little quickie here. There's a, a monkey and a hyena walking through the jungle, you see, <laughs> and having a marvellous time. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this dirty big lion jumped out from behind a bush and Not pounced the right... the same lion that was the gorilla. It went past with the newspaper like it's... Done no, it. no, right. this was his brother. Oh, right. <laughs> True. Flippy. Yeah, yeah, right. And, he, and, and he's jumped right onto the hyena, you see, and he's starting to claw the uh, hell out of him. <laughs> Anyhow... We know what you mean, Maury. <laughs> and the monkey shot straight up a tree. He's looking down and, oh, this poor hyena's having a dreadful time and finally the lines tore off, you see, and the monkey came down and he said, you all right? The hyena said, you're a lovely mate, aren't you? He said, here I am fighting like hell down here and you're up in the tree. Why don't you give me a bit of a cut-up? 
And the monkey said, well, he said, you were laughing so much, I thought you were winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. I love I think, that. Yeah. We, we'll give it to, I think we'll give it to the, uh, the sulfuric acid and the, um, on the, sulfuric. and he passed a Mercedes. We'll give him that. Yeah, we'll give that. Who was that one from? That's uh, Lee Jones from Terralgan. <laughs>